Someone today needs to hear these three words. I believe you. Today, that someone is me. I woke up early this morning, made my coffee, and then decided I'm just gonna go back to bed for a little bit, get some rest. Bad idea. For the most part, my sleep has been sweet. But like many things with trauma, the aftershocks have no plan or rhythm. Often they come out of nowhere and they're completely unexpected. You can't always plan for them or dodge them. And that's what happened to me this morning. I woke up from a bad dream, startled, completely taken aback. In the dream, I was in a big house. And there were a lot of people there, some I knew, some I didn't know. And my abuser walked in and he went up the stair staircase. It was a huge staircase. I went into a room and stayed for a little bit and then I went up the staircase. When I got to the top, I saw someone I knew and I went and sat beside them and I said, did he say anything? And she said, yeah. He said, I have never molested anyone. And I said, what? It was me, he molested me. Do you believe me? She acted like she didn't hear me and she walked over to where he was and they were talking and laughing, going over a receipt. Looks like they were negotiating a business deal or something. So I got up and I went back downstairs and I thought, he acted as if I didn't exist, as if I never existed. I was so upset. And then I woke up. Quickly, I wrote down the dream, made another cup of coffee, took a shower, listened to two sermons, listened to worship music. I did anything I could to get my head, mind, body, and the little girl inside of me back to reality. Here's the reality. It's a lie. No one will ever believe you was so deeply ingrained into my brain that I still have a hard time sometimes feeling believed. But you know what? I've told a lot of people and no one that I can remember has ever said to me, I don't believe you. I know what happened to me and I know it's the truth. But sometimes like this morning, when I woke up from that dream, the little girl inside of me was so terrified because it was such a big deal that she needed to keep a secret. And once I was up and I had moved around a bit, I looked in the mirror and I said to her, I believe you. And then I said it again, I believe you. If you or the little girl inside of you needs to hear those words right now, please listen. I believe you. Can you tell her? Just whisper it to her right now. I believe you. Sometimes when things like this happen, I know it's just more unresolved stuff that I need to deal with. I'm reading this book, The Body Keeps the Score. It's an excellent book, highly recommend it. And I was reading it last night and uh, there was a part in there about nightmares. So maybe that's why I had the dream, I don't know. But one thing I know for sure is that I believe you are three powerful words that we all need to hear sometimes. Today, I needed to hear them. And I thought maybe you did too. I wanna share this verse with you before I go. It's in the Passion Translation, and it's Psalm 116, 10 through 11. It says, Even when it seems I'm surrounded by many liars and my own fears, and though I'm hurting in my suffering and trauma, I will stay faithful to God and speak words of faith. Stay faithful. Speak truth. Speak truth faith. You are believed.